Imagine a wave rising from the ocean, and on its crest, a sloth. But this isn't a misplaced land animal, it's Thalassochnus, a marine sloth, that turned the Pliocene Pacific coast into its personal salad bar. This creature wasn't clinging to trees but surfing through kelp forests. Over millions of years, it evolved dense bones that acted like a diver's weight belt, holding it down as it grazed on seagrass and algae on the seabed. Picture a sea cow with a sloth's body, slowly moving along the ocean floor. Heat said Doan using its sensitive lips and sharp teeth to scrape greens off the rocks, all in sync with the rhythm of the waves. The coastline was a bustling, energetic place. Cold, deep water upwellings fueled massive kelp forests, and powerful tides pushed nutrients through every channel and cove. The currents even acted like helpful guides, gathering floating kelp into easy to reach lines for foraging. Thalysochnus timed its meals perfectly with the tides, using the natural surge of the water to stay stable while it ate. The ocean was full of life, with massive sharks patrolling offshore and playful seals crowding the beaches. But the sloth had an advantage in the shallows, sticking close to the seabed where its tight-turning ability made it a difficult target for predators. Studying its fossils reveals an amazing story of how it evolved. Earlier species were more land-based, but later ones became increasingly adapted to the sea. You can see it in their anatomy. Their nostrils moved higher up their snouts. Their bones became denser and their tails and limbs changed to better suit a life spent in water. They used rocky shelves to rest and warm up in the sun, and the shallow tide pools were a safe place for young sloths to practice their swimming skills under the watchful eyes of the adults. When powerful storms rolled in, the whole herd would retreat to calm lagoons to wait it out. Life wasn't always easy, though. The constant grazing on sandy gritty, gritty plants wore down their teeth like sandpaper, but their enamel was tough, and their underwater pantry was restocked with fresh greens twice a day. Thalysochnus wasn't about the frantic chase. It was a master of industrial grazing, perfectly tuned to that narrow zone where the land meets the sea. Eventually, shifting currents and changing coastlines brought an end to its reign. But for a glorious time, the Pacific was home to this incredible surfing herbivore, a sloth built to mow the ocean floor. What an amazing creature. What marine oddity do you think we should explore next? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into our planet's incredible past. And as always, thanks for watching.